Hey guys, what's up? Um, so today I'm going to be doing a Dark Magician video. I think this is going to be uploaded during the night. It's like 11 right now. Yeah, it's 11. And yeah, so I'm just going to do this real quick. So this is a non-depressing, non-crappy, you know, less crappy um, deck video, deck profile. This is the Dark Magician deck. It's pretty bad. It's not that good. It only has one extra deck monster, which you'll see soon. And this is it. And just, you know, pretty, it's more for casual play, not really competitive in metal. Well, it has a little bit of casual perspective, but mm, it's more used for um, just normal play, I guess. You could say, I don't know what that's describe it. It's, it's just metal. It's like, a, it's like a competitive deck, but it sucks. <laughs> yeah, perfect. So let's do the deck modifier. First, there's three dark co copies of Dark Magician. And you see it's three different arts, so that's cool. Two Dark Magician and Chaoses. Two Dark Magician girls. Oh, shoot. Oh. Let me show those. This is really just a crappy video. Two Tricky. Two copies of Skill Dark Magician. Two copies of God Magician. I'll be using for um, MXC Summoning. Defender the Magical Knight. Magic Exemplar. Magician draw to get out the support cards. Two magician drops to actually summon magician, dark magician. Two pod dualities to search up the cards I need at the expense of special summoning, but eh. I should be able to special summon next turn, anyways. Dark magic, dark burning attack. I'm most likely never going to use this card ever. So I'm going to take it out soon, but I want to keep it in for this um, profile. Dark magic inheritance. Dark ma Magical Circle, Illusion Magic, Dark Magic Attack, Thousand Knives, these are some of the support cards, <coughs> Magical Dimension, I don't have Corona, so don't be worried about that cough, Magical Dimension, wait, okay, I just have to see card twice, Sacred Sword, Seven Stars, Mage Power, Twin Twisters, Magical Space Typhoon, no, Myth Mythical Space Typhoon, MST, Book of Moon, it's three copies of Eternal Soul. One Black Illusion. One Magician's Defense. One Dark Renewal. And one Steve from Dark Magician. And one Trap Hole of Spikes. So that does it for this deck. You know, I think you can see for all those competitive players, it's not that good. At least my perspective. And our one extra deck monster is number 11 Big Eye. Yeah. Big Eye. Mm -hmm. It's a rank 7 monster. You take control of a monster. You can control one of your mo opponent's monsters. Pretty good. And see different sleeves. Red sleeves. Blue sleeve. Cool. I used to have uh, Ebon Illusion Magician. I ended up training that way to um, s um my friend. Um, Sam. I made a YouTube video with him. Um, the... So I'll go to Copicus unboxing, so you know that. And oh yeah, also I have a bunch of these decks. Um yeah. So I might oh yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna be doing like do I wanna show you guys this? Hmm. Okay, well I'm just gonna give you a quick introduction. This is the this is a Yugi deck, not a good one, but a decent one. Kaiba, not blue eyes. Crappy Elemental Hero. Um this is the Exodia and that's this is my lunch table deck, or at least it's gonna be. If we ever go back to if we ever get back to the lunch table, pretty decent. Demise King, I I'm not using Enter the World. I'm using um, what's it called? Um, Contract with the Abyss. Cause I can also use this to summon Dark Magic, Dark Black Magic Edition of Black Chaos. Okay, and I think I'm gonna show my Exodia deck because that's the only good one. So let's so let's show it. This is this is so first we got two legend copies of legendary Exodia Incarnate, Exodia the Forbidden One, right arm of the Forbidden One, left arm of the Forbidden One, right leg of the Forbidden One, left leg of the Forbidden One, and that's pretty good. This one's mediocre. Better I just know. Um, three copies of Sagan, two card cardi, marshmallow. Magician of Faith and a Swift Scarecrow. 
like one of the only hand traps I ever use. Three cop, no, two copies of Paul Duality. Supply, wait. Supply Squad. Upstart Goblin. Gold Sarcophagus. Hand Destruction. Monster Reincarnation. Um, Dark Factory of Mass Production. Messenger of Peace. So it's Revealing Light. Lightning Vortex. Scapegoat. Dark Hole. Burning Moon with the Mighty. Book of Moon. Foolish Burial. Two copies of Obliterate. Mm, two copies two, no, of Mirror Force. Two copies of Java Avarice. One Phoenix Chain. One Threatening Roar. And one Magic Cylinder. So that basically does it for the Exodia deck. I love how quickly just... So we have two different decks. And of course no extra deck Exodia. So yeah. What do you guys think? And next video, next video video, I'm going to show off my lunch table deck. Because, you know, I want to show it off. I'm not going to be showing these off. Absolutely not. This is garbage. It doesn't have Elemental Hero Neos in it. Right here. I'm going to put it in someday. It's basically just a uh, hero structure deck except crappier because I lost some of the cards and replaced them. This is... Yeah, no, no. This is no. I also have the original Art of Dark Magician. I was going to put that in my Dark Magician thing, but I decided not against that because, well, I like these arts better. So that's pretty much it. And then Exodia. Pretty good. Um, this is just from the. This is just mostly the Exodia cards that you get from the Legendary Collection deck. I, it's the one of, like, um, UV. And Kaiba, Joey, you know, stuff like that. And I don't know what else to say. Bringing that stuff up, I would bring this up to 10 minute mark, but that's gonna be way too long to upload. So I'm just gonna say goodbye and see you next time. Bye. Tomorrow's gonna be Master Level 5. So yeah, excited for that.